For the stars, the Delta State Police Command and other security operatives on Friday aborted what could have been the murder of all anger protests at Eferon in Uwe, local government area of the state. The police operatives, the Nigerian Army and DSS were also civil in the dealings with residents until some soldiers of the 3 Battalion Nigerian Army forcefully handcuffed our reporter and confiscated his phones before releasing him on the intervention of commanding officer Major Emmanuel Uhigbe after over an hour. Our correspondent, Dele Fasal, sent in this report. There were no protesters in sight as at 7 a.m., the agreed time by civil society groups to commence the hunger protest, except patrol vans of the police, navy, and military. This, however, scared the protesters when their coordinator, Comrade Israel Joe, was whisked away by the military. Addressing journalists, the Deputy Commissioner of Police in charge of operations in Delta State, DCP Aino Adishala, and some right activists said the protest would have heating up the polity if allowed to go on. There was a pro uh, proposed uh, intention to protest, but we thank God the CP sent me here in order to maintain peace. And everywhere is peaceful, you can see it. Everybody is going about their business without any any hindrance so that is all there's no big there's no problem we really thank god the time is not ripe for any protest that can snowball into major crisis there's a crisis of hunger already and the government are doing their best but though we believe that their best is not good enough we are asking them to do more to do more because there is truly hunger in the land we have actually averted the protest because we wanted to demonstrate to the president that nigerians are passing through hardship but anyway, we have uh, res resolved to communicate to the, to the presidency, not through protests, but through press. It has been an amazing one. I've been here since 6 a.m. to ensure there is full decorum and compliance to the non-protest agenda that we CSOs, genuine CSOs of integrity, are supposed to. There's a lot of security threats in the state at the moment, and the state is volatile. We do not want any breakdown of law and order, because when it happens, People will lose their properties, people will lose their monies, and fighting hardship, you don't create more hardship for people. The head of police operations in Delta call on residents to go about their lawful businesses as our correspondent narrated his ordeal in the hands of the military. The problem, they should come out and mass to go to their different uh, place of work. Nobody will molest them. Even the civil, the, the civil societies, they rally around the, the police and the army. We are on ground, everything is going on, there is no problem. Although normalcy has returned to the DSC run about where the police and other security agencies has contained the proposed protest, which could not hold. Behind me there, you could see far away, I had to move it by 100 meters from there, where I was asked to shift. But the incident happened as early as a few minutes to seven, where I was harassed by the military men. Three of them came and they gave me boots, gun boots on my shoulder here, and I was handcuffed when I refused to give them my phone. I was handcuffed and my camera was confiscated. You know, they took my camera away and then they took me in their vehicle with handcuffs. They bundled me for about two hours. I was with them. What was my offense? They said, why was I recording? I showed them my ID card. You know, it was after two hours after I've been detained. Some of my colleagues asked to call the CEO of the Nigerian Army 3 Battalion, Major Emmanuel Hoegbe, who came and uh, asked them uh, to release me with some apology but i told him i was only doing my job that this your apology was coming too late because you know me as a journalist doing going about my business but one take home there must let nigerians the people of death and nigerians know is that the protests the police the civil defense the navy and the dss handled it calmly because they were very civil except for the military who ensured that more people were arrested even the leader of the protest team was also arrested from a full year in delta state daily fast reporting for Galaxy News.